Shalom. Kwam Yashallah, call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible. And a double shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity, regardless of whom here forbears. These videos we do only for the hopeful elect, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And that includes the confusion of faces. And our video I want to do is on trust in the Lord and the process. Okay? In the book of Psalm, chapter 37, verse 5, it reads, Commit thy way unto the Lord. So we're supposed to commit our way unto the Lord for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, in which we know only the hopeful elect is going to commit their ways. They're, the only the hopeful elect is going to be dedicated to Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. And how can you be committed or dedicated to Yahweh by Shemiah was shy? By keeping his word, following the ways of the Heavenly Father, you know, which is all written in the Bible. You know, keeping the um, statute laws and commandments to the best of your ability, you know, having faith in Yahweh by Shemiah was shy, and uh, trusting in the Lord. All right. It reads the book of Psalms, chapter 37, verse 5, commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him. So we're required to trust in the Lord. You know, brothers in his faith and his truth know Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is all we got, you know, in the brotherhood, which is a part of the body, you know, of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. So we know the only thing, the only, the only power we can trust in is Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, who is a true living power that controls all things. So there's nothing else to, to trust in, you know, not the so-called white man, which is known as Esau in the Bible. OK, um, not uh, your jobs, not your career, not um, your money, not yourself. The only power that you can truly trust in is your how about Shimmy how was shot. It reads on. <clears throat> and he shall bring it to pass and he's going to bring it to pass. Whatever affliction you're going through, um, anything you're going through. Um, the Lord is going to take care of you for the ones in his truth that's trying to, um, you know, commit their ways into the Heavenly Father and, um, you know, uh, trust in the Lord. And which ultimately is trusting in the process because there is a process that goes along with trusting the Lord, praying, fasting, you know, um, keeping the statute laws and commandments to the best of your ability, you know, um, studying, being diligent in his truth. You know, you're going to still catch hell, but. It's all a test, and the Lord's not gonna put you through something you can't handle, you know. So when you're when you're trusting the Lord, you gotta trust in the process as well, you know. You look at um what Job went through, you know. Job lost everything, you know. He lost all his his wealth, you know. He lost his his family, you know, you know. But the the Lord brought him through, and Job ultimately trusted in the process, man, of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, okay. So um, next scripture I want to bring out is Psalm 115. <clears throat> Book of Psalm, chapter 115, uh, verse uh, 11. It reads, Ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. So only the ones that fear the Lord, Yahweh by Shemi Shai, um, which fear is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom, pursuant to Proverbs 1 and 7, are the ones who are going to trust in the Lord. Why? Because, again, fear is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom. When you begin to get the knowledge and wisdom of the scriptures, and then the Lord starts to open your penal gland of who you are, you know, where you come from, what your heritage is, um, how, what, what is required of, of us to please him. You know, you start learning more about your power and the infinite amount of um, things that he's able to do, you know, um, his uh, omnipotence. You know, you start learning everything about the Heavenly Father, and ultimately you realize that that's the one that you're supposed to be trusting in. That's the true power that you're supposed to be trusting in, the one who truly controls everything, man, controls all things. Okay? So that's why the scripture says, uh, Psalm 115 and 11, ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. Because no um, Israelite, because the word is only given for you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. No Israelite is going to trust in Yahweh by Shemiah was shy if they don't fear him. Because, you know, fear and trust go hand in hand. Okay? It says, he is their help and their shield. So when you're going through hell and persecution, you know, and there's more persecution to come towards the Israelites, man, as we're rearing the end of times. You know, we're in the final, uh, final of the last days. So you're going to need to trust your power, your true living power more so. Than ever, man. You know, now the Lord has um, woke us up to who we are. 
you know, in our heritage and everything. So, you know, it's important for us to trust in the Lord because he's getting ready to, to, to be, um, you know, um, Jacob's trouble, which is going to come along with calamities, uh, death, um, lots of death by the numbers, you know, race riots, famine, martial law, you know, um, all types of hell is getting ready to be pushed on Jake. And they don't even know what two thirds of our people don't even know what's coming. You know, so for the ones that are fearing the Lord, as the scriptures say, ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. You know, and two thirds of our people don't do that. It says he is their help and their shield. The Lord is going to be your wedge, of, your hedge of protection. You know, when um, you seeing all two thirds being killed by the numbers, the heavy numbers and all types of calamities fall upon two thirds of our people. Well, you know, the elect is going to be ultimately shielded and protected, man, shielded and protected from all the calamities is getting ready to hit okay so um next precept i want to bring out is proverbs 3 and 5 it says trust in the lord with all thine heart it says trust in the lord with all thine heart not half not a third you know not a portion but all okay because when you seek your power and you get into the knowledge um and you fear the lord you know you don't go half stepping with it you know like, um, you know, I forget the brother's name. He made a, a, a song about it. And it, it goes, um, ain't no half-stepping. Because it ain't no half-stepping when, you know, you're you putting your heart into your how about you, I was shy. And that word heart goes back to the Hebrew word lab, which means your mind. So you put all of your mind into your how about you, I was shy. You know, meditating on scriptures day and night, you know. Uh, when you wake up, you know, and before you go to sleep, you're saying the prayers. You know, because, you know, you're in this truth, man. You live in this truth. You actually... Um, are, are seeking your power constantly okay so reading proverbs 3 and 5 trust in the lord with all thine heart so we're required to trust in the lord with all that thine heart and that's who you truly want to trust in anyway to be protected and get that wedge of, or that hedge of protection um as i read back in um psalm 115 it says and lean not into thine own understanding and uh, that's the problem with a lot of our people they lean onto their own understanding, you know, um, and, you know, two thirds of our people, you know, that's all they've known is, you know, to, to base things off of their own understanding, because a lot of them don't really fear the Heavenly Father. They don't, um, you know, have the knowledge, wisdom of the scriptures. But now that for the ones who do, the hopeful elect, then we know that at the end of the day, <clears throat> we're not going to lean onto thine own understanding, because truthfully, all the, the knowledge and wisdom comes from the Bible that was written for our learning. The blueprint is already there. So we don't need to lean to our understanding because when you lean to your own understanding, you know, you're pretty much setting a snare for yourself. You're setting a trap for yourself to go off, you know. And that's why it's important to trust in the Lord and trust in the process because the Lord's process, you know, will, will bring you through, you know. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to read that one more time for the top. And I might have another precept, but it reads Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all in thine heart. Yep. And lean not unto thine own understanding. So, you know, we, we are, we're not to lean unto our own understanding, you know. Um, and that's why it's important. And I'm speaking to myself first and foremost to seek counsel, you know, remain in order, follow the process. You know, that the, the Lord has put together, you know, the, with the body of brothers, you know. Because, um, and also to communicate, man, and communicating, which is a part of the requirements in the scriptures, which Lord willing, I'll do another lesson on that, um, will, will, ha will help the body stay close, man, because then Satan will play on your mind and then you'll start leaning to your own understanding, which is going against the scriptures, as we just read in Proverbs 3 and 5. I'm going to read verse um, 6. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. You know, in all that ways, acknowledge the Heavenly Father, honor the Heavenly Father, respect the Heavenly Father. Okay? Because if you if we're saying that we're going to trust in the Lord, then we should be acknowledging the Lord, Yahweh by Shemia as well. It reads, and he will direct thy paths. And again, that's following the process. Because when you look at the the um the end story of Job, he followed the process. He went through and suffered through the process of um the lord and trusted the lord and the end game the end story was good it was a good ending story because he the lord restored all things to him because he trusted in the lord so 
With that being said, before I close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and a double shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom.